Hello guys. Today's video is about implementation of bubble sort. Bubble sort algorithm and its optimized version using Java programming language. Let's begin. Introduction. Bubble sort is also called sinking sort is a very simple sorting algorithm. It repeatedly takes an element of the unsorted list or array and compare it with its adjacent element. And if it is not in order, swap it or exchange it. It uses nested loops. The element A0 or zeroth element is compared with first element of array and similarly the first element is compared with the second element and so on until the list or the array is sorted. During the comparison, if A1 is greater than a0 both the elements are exchanged values are swapped values task in this implementation we will implement two versions of bubble sort bubble sort simple algorithm and we will track time and the number of comparisons and the number of swaps taken during the sorting of array and in the second implementation I will use the optimized implementation and both algorithms have different number of comparisons and swaps because of the runtime. Bubble, bubble sort analysis. This is one of the slowest sorting algorithms. It has three case scenarios, worst case, best case scenario and average case scenario. In the worst case scenario, the outer loop runs O n time and the net result is it overall runs in O n square run time. That is the slowest sorting algorithm run time. Best case scenario, in the best case scenario, outer loop runs O n time but the inner loop does not run because the array is already sorted. This only happens in case of optimization and optimization of bubble sort is done by using a flag or a boolean value that will check if there is a swap happened during the runtime or during the execution of the outer loop and if it does happen it repeats the next pass if it does not happen no swap happens within the inner loop the outer loop stops running. This best case scenario can only be achieved by optimizing the bubble sort algorithm. Average case scenario. In the average case scenario, it is possible the array or the list is semi sorted and the outer loop runs for O n by 2 or half of the time or half of the passes. This complex, the complexity of Average case is still O n square because we do not know how many times this can run. It also uses optimized implementation. Thank you and let's begin coding. Hello guys, I have created an empty project with a main class bubble sort test and this is the main method that is empty so far and I have copied fill array class from the tutorial I, I wrote for array algorithms you can find this tutorial in the array algorithm playlist this is a simple array class that defines utility methods for example fill array that will fill the array in the range of a given min and max elements and print array and generate random numbers ok guys now I will add two classes bubble sort and the second class bubble sort optimized new java class optimized bubble sort 
okay we start with bubbles heart class okay in this class let's make it object oriented so class fields private int array to store elements private int num swaps number of swaps we need to count for that we will need to start the array private int num and let's say comparisons number of comparisons private long uh, let's say start time start time of algorithm private long end time end time of algorithm okay now let's define a constructor public bubble start that will take an array int array okay so let's store it as it is array this dot array is equal to array another way is we can make a deep copy of this array let's make a deep copy import java dot util dot arrays and we will make the copy of it arrays dot copy of and this is original array and the length length is array dot length okay so we have stored it now start the num swaps zero num comparisons zero okay that's it constructor now the getter methods public int get swaps return this dot num swap num swaps public int get comparisons this dot number of comparisons okay now public int sorry long get a time time taken to process the data return this dot end time minus this dot start time this will return the time now the algorithm for the public void bubble sort bubble sort algorithm we need two loops for int i0 i is less than array dot length i plus plus okay second loop this is for passes this is for comparison and swapping okay first comparison for int j0 j is less than array dot length minus i minus 1 and j plus plus okay here we will count comparisons so this dot num comparison plus plus okay compare now compare adjacent elements if array j is greater than array j plus 1 okay so if they are out of order swap so to swap we need temporary 
वेरिएबल अरे जे अरे जे इज इक्वल टू अरे जे प्लस वन एंड स्टोर टेम टू अरे जे प्लस वन टेम्प ओके हेयर वी इंक्रीज स्वैप्स दिस डॉट नम स्वैप्स प्लस प्लस ओके दैट्स इट ओके नाउ वन थिंग लेफ्ट स्टार्ट एंड एंड टाइम सो हेयर वी रिकॉर्ड स्टार्टिंग टाइम स्टार्ट टाइम दिस डॉट स्टार्ट टाइम इज इक्वल टू सिस्टम डॉट करंट मिलीज एंड हेयर वी विल काउंट द एंड द एंड ऑफ सेकेंड लूप एंड टाइम दिस डॉट एंड टाइम इज इक्वल टू सिस्टम डॉट करंट मिली सेकेंड्स ओके सो दैट सेट दिस इज ओवर एलगोरिथम इम्प्लीमेंटेशन फॉर द स्टैंडर्ड बबल शॉट एलगोरिथम एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो काउंटेड द रन टाइम एंड काउंटेड द नंबर ऑफ कंपेरिजन एंड हाउ मैनी टाइम द स्वैप्स हैपन्ड एंड वी विल आउटपुट दीज स्टैट्स इन द बेंच मार्क ओके नाउ लेट्स टेस्ट इट ओके सो वी नीड थ्री थिंग्स नंबर वन फाइनल इंट मिन लेट से टेन फाइनल इंट लेट से वन एंड मैक्स लेट से हंड्रेड ओके साइज फाइनल इंट साइज ऑफ अरे लेट से वी हैव टेन एलिमेंट्स ओके फिल द अरे ओके फर्स्ट वी नीड फिल अरे ऑब्जेक्ट फिल अरे ओके नाउ डिक्लेयर अरेस इंट अरे वन न्यू इंट एंड साइज इट इज गुड टू हैव कॉन्स्टेंट्स Now fill it. Fill array dot and fill array. This method. Okay, array one min and max. This will fill over array. Okay, let's print it. System dot out dot print. Unsorted array. And this is over sorted array. so array fill dot fill array dot print array and same goes for the second printing let's add one new line okay here we will sort it so to sort we need bubble sort object bubble sort new bubble sort and we pass the array array 1 okay now we call function to sort bubble sort dot bubble sort this will over sorting algorithm implementation bubble sort object okay now we will print the stats सिस्टम डाट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन ओके स्टेटिस्टिक्स सिस्टम डाट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एफ एंड दैट इज नंबर ऑफ कंपेरिजन सो बबल सॉट डॉट गेट कंपेरिजन and now dot print f number of swaps get swaps okay system dot out dot print f time taken to sort percentage d percentage n and this is ms 
मिली सेकेंड एंड दिस इज बबल साठ डॉट गेट टाइम ओके दैट्स इट नाउ वी विल रन इट एंड टेस्ट द रिजल्ट लेट्स रन दिस क्लास सो समथिंग इज रॉन्ग हेयर वी नीड टू एड अ गेटर मैथड इन टू दिस क्लास बिकॉज वी वर प्रिंटिंग सेम आर ए पब्लिक इंट गेट आर ए रिटर्न दिस डॉट आर ए बिकॉज वी आर मेकिंग डीप कापी ऑफ इट सो इन द स्टेटमेंट वी विल प्रिंट द बबल सॉ डॉट गेट आर ए ओके सेम हेयर ओके लेट्स रन इट अगेन array one get array and this print statement here okay let's run it now test class and this is run okay so now over array is sorted this is unsorted array so we have number of comparisons 45 and the number of swaps happened 26 and this is the time because the computer is faster and the data set is small so time is not shown if we make a bigger array the time will show up okay now uh, how we if we can optimize this thing the number of comparison and the number of swaps so we copy this class entire data entire class okay and paste into optimized array class okay we need to change this algorithm so we introduce a boolean if we introduce a boolean let's say called swaps and inside this loop if the array is out of order the flag will become true if that flag is not true the outer loop will exit some people used to add a break statement here if the flag is false they break the outer loop i think good programming practice discourage use of break statement so alternatively we can add flag condition here let me show you so boolean flag is equal to true okay as long as this condition is true and flag is true execute this loop so we make it false inside it flag is equal to false means no more comparison or swaps needed so inside it if swap happened and the array is not in uh, array is not in order we will make it true flag is equal to true okay as long as this makes it true inside this loop inner loop and array is not in order the flag will become true and this loop outer loop will execute once you does not the loop does not enter into this block means array is in order if the array is in order this flag will become will stay false if this will stay false and as soon as this loop exits 
or completes its execution and these are just comments we don't need a break here and when the loop goes to check its condition here and it is false it will exit this is a uh, this is an efficient alternative to the break statement so let's test it change the constructor name rest of everything will remain same okay now inside this we keep everything here and we just copy and we don't don't need to refill this array and we copy this and we change the name okay system dot out dot print ln optimized bubble sort change the name of the object optimized bubble sort everything else will remain same let's say sort okay we change the variable calls sort and this is unsorted array and let's add this is also sort and these are also sort okay now these uh, this sort is the optimized sort algorithm let's run it okay guys so guys we need to call sort for the bubble sort function okay after changing uh, these variable names to reference the optimized bubble sort let's run it run the file okay see the results sorted this is also sorted and this is comparison and swaps comparison and swaps same because the algorithm is uses unsorted array the optimized algorithm improves if the array is either semi sorted or fully sorted okay let's let's test it with the sorted array okay in in the fill method instead of this we fill in a sequence okay this is another let's comment it out so it can be used for the unsorted array and i have written written a utility method in the same class that will fill the array with the number in a sequence this method this method fills the numbers 1 to n for any array for example over array size is 10 so it will be filled with numbers 1 to 10 in a sequence so it will be a sorted array already so now let's let's run both the algorithms on sorted array okay okay guys you will see the difference of both this is unsorted array and this is sorted array so basically this unsorted array is already sorted so the number of comparison for the standard bubble sort algorithm is 45 same number of comparison for the unsorted and the sorted algorithm in case of optimized the number of comparison are only 9 because this loop only runs once this top loop outer loop only runs once and the flag is false and this loop runs but cannot go inside the if block because the array is already sorted so it this flag will not become true so when the second or inner loop execute completes its execution the flag will be false once the flag is false the outer loop stops execution and this will optimize the bubble sort 
see the results the number of comparison and the number of swaps or uh, comparison here only nine for the outer loop single pass and this is for the all the passes and complete execution so in case of sorted array the apt optimized algorithm runs faster than the non optimized bubble sort algorithm that is all for today guys i hope you have learned bubble sort algorithm using java in both standard and optimized form and thank you guys i will make the videos for the other sorting algorithm soon and i will update you thank you guys if you have any question you can comment i will reply have a good day